Oh, Terbs. It's an outing day, Terbs. Those other chickens are going to be jealous. Especially if they know you get to go in the garden. Look at all the tasty things in here to eat. Yeah. So here's Turbs. She's pretty much, not full size, but nearly. She has all her chicken plumage. Turbo! Come on! Come on, Turbo! Come on, Turbo! Oh, you're such a good girl! Yes! Come on, Derbs, this way. Derbs, come here, bud. Come here, Derbs. Yeah, yeah, good girl, you are. Here, here's some strawberries. Here's one. Look, Derbs. Look. No, you don't want this? Derbs, look, strawberry. I'm thirsty. I'm really interested in this water. Yum. I'm not super into the strawberry. Here's one, Terbs. Here's a strawberry. Right, you eat that one, I'll eat this one. I'm gonna pick my raspberries before Terbs does. She will get them all. You're a pretty lucky chicken to have the run of the garden. Nobody else gets to come in here. This beautiful tree right here is my quince tree. And probably in another month or so, I'm going to have these beautifully ripe quince. This tree's amazing. It's loaded with quince every year. So I make a wonderful marmalade with them that I really love in Membrio. Over here is my compost. And this area is delineated by these giant rocks. I don't know if you can see them all the way around. And it's huge, so I'll start a compost area here. When it gets to about the height of the rocks where it is now, I'll move it and start over there and let this just decompose and use this one for a year. And then we'll end up having compost over here. And so I just switched them back and forth, which is great. I've also planted this tree. This is an apricot tree. And apricots, <laughs> apricots need, um, they need dry soil and my whole garden is irrigated so this is the driest part in the garden. I've got to show you what's going on behind me. As I'm talking about my apricot tree, this is happening. Terbs is, is flown up into the tree and she's stalking me. <laughs> Terbs, you're really a piece of work. She's there. That's what you ultimately wanted. <laughs> Oh, Turbo, you melt my heart. I totally love you. <laughs> so that's a little bit about my compost, and I'll just give you a quick little um, tour of what's growing right now in my garden with my little raptor on my shoulder. The compost area is now in my back, and you can kind of see um, the different beds. Now our property slopes, this is west, and it slopes downhill toward the west. So in this first bed, I have corn. And I went ahead and planted the three sisters, meaning corn, beans, and squash all together. So the beans climb up the corn um, stalks. And then the squash are all around. And they preserve the um, moisture in the soil because of their big giant leaves. And so I've got a bunch of variety of squash growing that I'm really excited about. This one is an Australian type squash and it's a really dense red sweet, um, sweet meat squash. 
A couple volunteer winter squash popped up here from my compost and I went ahead and just left them. And it looks like they are, germs, get rid of my pest. It looks like they're a delicata. I don't know if you can see them in here. A type of delicata. Oh, Turbs, you're my little shadow, aren't you? You are my little shadow. Her. And then I have another volunteer squash that looks like a butternut. So, it'll be interesting to see what that is. And then in this bed, volunteer cucumber are some carrots that I planted for winter. It looks like the deer or turbo or somebody was in here pruning them a little bit. I did plant some beets as well but the beets the beets got eaten by someone. Beets are loved around here. Another volunteer squash I have a fig tree these are all black raspberries along this fence. So these I trellised up uh, probably three weeks ago or so now. The marion berries I've yet to trellis, so I'll cut out all of the canes that bloom this year and then all of these that have grown down into the path will be tied back up onto the trellises. The raspberries I tied up. Echinacea. Turba chickena, Turbina chickena, Turbina fowla. <laughs> Stalks through the garden so expertly. This is her. This is her safe zone out here. And then over in this corner is all parsley, and I have a few strawberries tucked in along the fence line or along the retaining wall. This is Robert Mitchum. This is a peppermint and this is the peppermint that I use for my ice cream and it's really fantastic. I'm really loving it. Um, I just realized it's not draining. It's covered in water. Yeah, Turbs, get it. And that water. I gotta get the water out of my plant. Say goodbye. Look at my cheeks. Look at my cheeks. Look at the best cheeks. See you next time.